Yeah, so I did about six hours yesterday, and I've done about two or three hours today. And it's coming on nicely. But you know, we have a little bit of a problem with some pieces not fitting. In here, there's a slot missing. It's not fitting, there's too big a slot, and I have to fix that. And there's some little pieces missing, which I'm marking on my paper. Yeah, so we do have some parts that have problems. I'll try to get this in the frame here. In here, right here, you can see there's a slot there, and it's too deep. This is supposed to be out level with the chimney, so there's a big slot there. The basket had a problem, little problem here. I am missing, underneath this radar, is missing the actual pyramid for it. Let me get something red so I can point it out. The, underneath there, the pyramid was missing. Where my red pointer is going to. And I'm going to show, showing you the slot here. Look, it's too large. So I'm going to have to fill that. And it doesn't always glue straight, so I have to file a bit. So I got some mess to clean up. But it's coming along nicely. And that's after eight or nine hours. So and when I'm missing parts, I just mark them in red, like here with the circle. This part's missing. And I'm also I make a little barrel there with something underneath it, so it looks similar. And you know, no one's gonna know the difference. I also was missing this part here, this strut. So I put the baskets down on the edge without them at the moment. I don't think I'll put the struts in. It would be very hard for anybody to pick up on that. So there you go. I have to make compromises. Yeah, go down a little. There you go. I put this little piece on top here to compromise for the piece missing. It's basically a bit of this, this uh, plastic tubing. Hang on. There you go. Oh. There you can see that's plastic tubing that was laying around. And it filed a little, and there we go, we got our piece in that's missing. So you do have to compromise and, you know, make up as you go. That's where woodworking and doing the wood boats really helps you. Yes, I've done about 25 hours of work on this at this stage. As you can see, it's coming along. This isn't fixed on yet, so it's still laying there loose. But, as you can see, I've got it quite a bit accomplished. Um, some of the parts are uh, not easy, you have to use a toothpick, it's one of the harder models I built. And some parts are, mi are not missing, or the boats are not put, or put down on the deck, which they shouldn't be, they should be on a little skid. So I've had to add some little parts to it to make it look more authentic. But, excuse me, on the whole, the boat is looking pretty good. I'm on my fourth day of building this boat, and I have a... Uh, most likely about 30 hours the way I've been going. I've been enjoying it. There's been some parts that don't fit and some strange things like light bolts that are open and I've had to close them in and I gotta fit them in now yet. But I've got a very little bit to do before I can go painting. Uh, there was a lot of small parts on this boat that actually uh, didn't make sense. They were molded with little pieces and when you glue them together they nearly actually melt in the tweezers. They're so small. So, some of the parts were a little strange that way. It's not a beginner's um, kit, this one. It's most likely an adult kit, I would say, because it's so complicated and so many small things. But, you know, it was enjoyable. I got a couple of little finishing off touches, little caps here and there, and a couple of little pieces in these turrets here, and a couple of little caps everywhere where there's little holes. And I'll be ready to paint, so that'll be the next thing.